Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Technical Talks with Naresh. On the user's demand, I am preparing this video. In this video, I am going to tell the basic commands in the Unix. Okay. I had divided this video into two parts. In first part, I am going to cover basic commands in Unix and in second part, I am going to cover some of the advanced commands in the Unix. In this video, we will see the basic commands in Unix. Before that, just I have to tell you that please like, share, subscribe my channel. Keep watching my video. Okay, so starting to the topic. So I am at my Unix terminal. Okay, so suppose I want if I want to check that on which particular directory I am there. So there is an one command for checking the present working directory. So pwd is nothing but the present working directory. If I press enter, so I am at the home bitnami. Okay, and this is my directory name. If I want to show the list of the folders and file present under this directory, so I am having one command ls. So if I write one command ls, so it will show me all the detail of the folders and the file which are present under this directory. So one more command ls hyphen lrt. So if I fire this command, it will give me the detail of all the folders and file present in my directory. The same folders and file are present over here also. But just we are getting all the additional information. One more ls command is there ls hyphen lrth. So in this what will be the change? So here the size will be not human readable but here it will convert to the human readable means mb or gb in the format. Here it will shows in the kb only. Okay so that is the difference. So we had seen this three different ls command. Then after suppose I want to create some directory over here. So there is a command mkdir then if you give any directory name suppose I am giving test and I press enter. So I am firing ls again. So you can see now previously there is no test directory now it is a directory. Suppose I want to go inside this test directory. So I am having the command cd and this directory name. I am inside the directory. I will check by pwd. I'm in the directory home bitnami and then test. So if I want to come back of this directory, so cd space dot dot and press enter. So I'm back on my bitnami directory. Okay. So suppose I'm going again into the test directory and I want to come back to my original home directory path. So there is a cd and this tilde icon. Okay. So if I press enter, and I will fire pwd so I will come to my home directory home and bitnami is my home directory or base directory suppose now I want to create the file so I am going to test directory again cd test okay just I am clearing the screen so for clearing the screen there is a command clear okay so my screen will get clear okay now I am in the test directory here I want to create one file so for that I have to write vi then space and suppose I want to create the file test one dot txt if I press enter it will open the file it will create the file if I want to insert anything in this file so I have to press just i on the my keyboard as soon as I pressed i so it will allow me to edit so I will write this is the test file created by technical talks so with nourish I had done writing on this so I have to press press escape key then I won't able to write and then I have to press colon wq you can see over here and just I have to press the enter as soon as I press the enter it will close the file and it will come back outside the vi if I press ls so you can see over here there is an one text file created so if I want to see this file so I can write vi and I can write the file name just so you can see over here my file is open okay if I want to again exit so I will write colon q and enter so it will exit suppose I want to copy the same file outside the test so what I have to do copy so for copy there is a command cp then I have to give the file name okay then I have to give the path where I have to copy that suppose I want to copy it at home slash bitnami so I have to select that and I have to press enter okay file name was incorrect so I have to correct that I just corrected the file name and I am pressing the enter 
I am going back cd dot dot and I am firing ls so you can see over here there is a file text one dot txt suppose I want to copy now the same file inside the folder again but I want to give the different name this time so where I have to copy I am in bitnami but I have to copy it into the test so first I will write cp then file name and I will give the destination directory then I will give the new file name suppose I am giving now or t2.txt and I am just pressing the enter I am going inside the test directory and I am firing the ls so you can see over here here are the two files suppose I want to rename the file text1 to t1 so I, what I will do mv an existing file name the new file name what is new file name t1.txt so you can see over here it is renamed with t2 so this is all about the copy command so we had covered the copy command and move command both over here then if i want to see what text is written in the file but i don't want to go by vi concept so i will write just cat that is concatenation and i will write the file name so it will show me on the console only the text of the file so in my file i had written this text so it is showing me this one suppose i want to see the current date so i will write date if i press the enter okay it will show me the current date and time suppose i want to see the space how much space is present on my server so there is a command df minus h if i will run df minus h it will show me the space on all the mount points okay so i am having this much of the mount points so it is showing me for all of this okay but i want to specifically see current mount point where I am working so for that we are having df minus h space dot and then enter if I will give that so it will give me my current mount point so it is having 4.7 use and 4.6 is available okay so this mount point I am using currently dev xvdl so I am just again clearing the screen now in my test directory i am having two files okay suppose i have multiple files and i have to zip that files so for zipping the files there is a command zip and i have to give the zip file name suppose here i will give the test.zip as the zip name and i what i have to do i have to zip this both the file in that particular zip so i will copy first one then space then i will copy second one okay my both file will get zip into it but if i am having thousands of files so that time i can't do like this so that time just i have to write star dot star okay so it will zip everything what will be the present in my particular directory so if i will fire ls over here so you can see over here there is an a test dot zip is present if i want to extract this zip so there is a command unzip and then just file name okay if i extract this over here it it will just ask me that I want to replace the existing file or not because we are having already their files. So I am telling yes for the first file also and I am telling yes for the second file also. Again I am firing ls. So we are having both the file over there. If I want to see how much files are there in this particular directory. So there is a command ls then this vertical slash then we are having wc hyphen l okay i missed the c over there so that command is wc so i'm just writing wc so you can see over here so we are having three files so it was showing me all the files zip file is also the file that's why it is showing me three now suppose i want to remove the zip file so for removing any file so there is a command rm and here is the zip file so i can re select this file name and i can press enter so now i am firing ls again so you can see over here one file is removed okay suppose i want to remove all the files so there is an command rm star okay so it will remove all the files okay but suppose i want to remove the folder i am going outside i am having now here the test folder now i want to remove this test folder entirely so what i will do i will do rm dir and this folder but if this folder is not empty it will 
not remove because I am having two files in this folder t1 and t2 so I will get the error message so my error message is fail to remove test directory not empty okay so for that suppose I want to still I want to remove this so there is a command rm minus rf and then I have to give the directory name and now you can see my directory is removed if you want to remove all the directories from this folder so there is a just a command rm minus rf and here it will be star so it will remove all the files and directory present in that particular directory but i don't want to do this so i will not remove okay so these are some basic commands used in unix in next video we are going to cover some of the advanced commands used in the unix so these all commands are useful for you in migrating the code of oracle apps or oracle fusion also okay these commands are useful for oracle dbs too if you like this video don't forget to like share subscribe my channel technical talks with naresh to get more videos on oracle sql plsql oracle application oaf and other technologies thank you